rage against the machine. A robo-taxi owned by Waymo, graffitied, windows smashed, and a firework lit inside, igniting a fire which torches the car. The remains, a hollowed shell, as firefighters pour water on the twisted and singed metal. The vandalism caught on multiple videos posted to X. So what led to this? Things took a wrong turn when the self-driving taxi drove toward a crowded area of Chinatown in San Francisco during a celebration of the Chinese New Year. Some in the crowd then turned from celebrating to destruction. The fire department reported no injuries in this latest touchpoint in an ongoing debate over self-driving cars. The incident on Saturday has led to some experts scrutinizing the artificial intelligence of Waymo, saying with its cameras and sensors, the car should be able to determine if it's heading into an area with heavy foot traffic or danger. San Francisco Board of Supervisors President Aaron Peskin has called for more regulation of self-driving cars, telling Reuters, most normal car drivers know that they have to avoid Chinatown during the Lunar New Year holidays. The computer doesn't understand that. However, some came to the company's defense. San Francisco Mayor London Breed called the Waymo incident a dangerous and destructive act of vandalism and praised Waymo's role in the city. In a statement saying, we are a city that is home to exciting, emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles that are changing the world. Even with the support, uncertainty remains. Findings by Forbes reveals 93% of people have concerns about self-driving cars. The Washington Post reports, in 2022, a Tesla employee slammed into a tree on a mountainous Colorado road, or reportedly using the self-driving feature. If true, it would be the first known death using the technology. It's been released to only 400,000 drivers. The worker had been testing it out, logging data to perfect the feature. However, the Colorado State Patrol found the victim had a blood alcohol level more than twice the legal limit and an investigation could not determine if the full self-driving feature contributed to the crash. Musk has not publicly acknowledged the death, and the company said the technology is still experimental. Tesla does tell drivers to remain attentive with their hands on the wheel while using the technology. Still, advocates for safer autonomous vehicles are aiming to hold companies like Tesla more accountable. The Dawn Project released video of self-driving Teslas ignoring stop signs, hitting obstacles, and blowing past school buses with stop arms extended. The criticism isn't only directed at Tesla. Another autonomous vehicle is also under the microscope. Recently, a self-driving GM-owned cruise hit and dragged a woman 20 feet. NPR reporting the woman suffered critical injuries. Now the company faces government investigations and fines, which could soar into the millions. Last week, another Waymo incident a robo-taxi hitting a bicyclist in San Francisco. The bicyclist avoided any serious injuries. Still, both Waymo and Cruz claim they've driven millions of miles without any human fatalities and contend autonomous systems make roads safer. The rise of self-driving vehicles is also leading to protests, with activists reportedly putting traffic cones on the hoods of driverless cars, rendering them immobile. Robo-taxis have also proven to be an obstacle for emergency workers. A San Francisco Fire Department spokesperson confirmed a fire truck on its way to an emergency had been held up by Waymo that failed to pull over. As for the robo-taxi destroyed over the weekend, Waymo did not respond when asked why the car drove into a crowded public event. Waymo previously described the vandalism as an isolated incident, but a Waymo rider told Reuters he rode a robo-taxi the next day through another San Francisco crowd as fireworks were shot at the car.